going to discuss the upgrade of the Fabco valve on our Model 500 GCs. The reasons for this upgrade are for two important reasons. The first is for safety considerations, and the second is for improving the longevity of the Fabco valve. In order to perform this upgrade, you're going to need some tools and items. You'll need several Q-tips, a 9 16 inch wrench, a 7 16 inch wrench, a 5 16 inch wrench, a quarter inch wrench, some Teflon tape, a cutting device to remove the end of the lubricant, some safety glasses, and you also need a kit. This kit will contain a safety cap, a titanium spool, you can tell it's titanium by the silvery-ish color, a Teflon washer, a safety cap, some lubricant, and a label to affix to the Fabco after the upgrade is complete to show that it has been done. Notice the T that's on the label, that indicates it's titanium. Before you begin the upgrade, make sure there's no power going to the GC, and secondly, the pneumatics have been depressurized. First thing that we will do after the, those two items have been completed is to remove the pneumatic from the front of the Fabco valve. The second is to remove the MPT to swedge connector. Then we can remove the old safety cap. And be careful in taking this out because there'll be a spring on the inside and we will reuse this spring. We will discard the old spring cap. The next thing we can do is in the back there is a vent. We'll use the Q-tip to push out the old spool. This is the old spool and you can tell it's, it's goldish in color, it's aluminum anodized. We're going to also discard this. After we remove those two items, then you use a Q-tip to swab the inside of the travel portion of the Fabco. This will remove any old debris that might be in there that could scar the, the travel portion. After we do that, we can then take the new titanium spool. First, we have to cut the end off the lubricant. Okay. We're going to add a small amount of lubricant. into the spool itself and this will enable the the Teflon washer to stick easily in there when you're adding it to the spool. There it's added. Make sure it's in place. We're going to take the a new Q-tip. We're going to add some lubricant. and we're going to swab the inside of the spool. We're also going to add some lubricant to the O-rings. And after we've added the lubricant, we'll place the titanium spool into the Fabco valve and push it in until it's completely inserted. We're going to take the new spring cap, place the spring in it. Insert it, tighten it down. And then using the 9 16 inch wrench, we'll just snug it down. Then the last step, we reattach the pneumatic line. After that's been done, 
we can take the label that's in the kit, peel it off, add this to the Fabco, and one thing we must add is the safety nut in the back. And you use that with a quarter inch wrench. Just snug it up. And that completes the, the upgrade of the 500. The last step is to re-energize the GC with power, add pneumatics, and then check for a leak. That's it.